In this example, we want to find the derivative of the following function, which is given as 6 divided by x minus 2. Okay, so we're going to do this by using the uh, definition of the derivative, which involves taking the limit of the difference quotient that you see here. All right, so we're going to have to uh, go ahead um, and evaluate our function at x plus delta x. Okay, so let's do that over here. So that's going to give us 6 all divided by x plus delta x minus 2, okay? All right, so we're going to take that expression and substitute it in for this part, okay? All right. Okay, so then we have the limit of 6 over x plus delta x minus 2 minus the actual function. Okay, so the actual function that we have is the function that we're given, which is 6 over x minus 2. And all this is going to be divided by delta x. All right, so if we do a direct substitution here um, by letting delta x equal 0, then we get, uh, in the numerator, we're going to get 0. Thus, we have, an, and we also have 0 in the denominator because delta x is uh, going approaching 0. So we get an indeterminate result here. So we need to simplify this expression algebraically. Okay, so this is uh, so what we have here is a uh, what's called a uh, compound fraction. Okay, basically because you have a fraction within another fraction. So we need to simplify this. Okay. So we're going to do this by um, we're going I'm going to go ahead and simplify the numerator first. Okay. All right. So, so we have six over x plus delta x minus two minus six over x minus two. So, just looking at the numerator for this limit. Okay. So, we need to put uh, we need to use the common denominator to so that we can uh, put these together. Meaning that we want to we want to come up with a um, a common denominator, so we want to put everything over that same denominator. Okay, so I'm going to multiply so that so I'm going to multiply this side by x plus delta x minus two. So that means I also need to multiply the denominator by the same expression. On this side, we need to multiply this one by x minus two. Multiply the top by x minus 2 and the denominator by x minus 2. Okay, again, um, we're doing this to fight to so we're doing this so that we can have a um, common denominator and so we can go ahead and take the difference and have everything all divided by the same denominator or a common denominator. Okay, all right, so then now we have 6 times x minus 2. Okay. All divided by x minus 2 times x plus delta x minus 2. And then minus 6 times x plus delta x minus 2. All divided by x minus 2 times x plus delta x minus 2. Okay, so now we can go ahead and take the difference here and put everything under the same denominator, under this common denominator. So this is going to give us, okay, um, let's do that down here. It's 
So this is going to give us six times x minus two minus six times x plus delta x minus two, all divided by x minus two times x plus delta x minus two. Okay, and uh, we can go ahead and distribute now top. So we're gonna get six x minus 12 minus six x minus six delta x plus 12. And all this is divided by x minus two times x plus delta x minus two. Okay, so some things should cancel out here. So we have six x cancels out. Um, that gives us zero, and then 12 minus uh, negative 12 plus 12 is zero. Okay, so we're left with six times delta x all divided by x minus two times x plus delta x minus two. Okay. All right, so now let's plug this back into our limit, okay? So going back up here, okay? So we have the limit of six times delta x all divided by x minus two times x plus delta x minus two and delta x is approaching zero. And this is all, and remember, we have to divide everything by delta x here. Okay. So this part, this part was only the numerator for our limit. Okay, it was only this, this part here that we simplified. Okay. So now we can go ahead and proceed by taking our limit. Okay. All right, so we're going to go ahead. Uh, we're going to go ahead and take the reciprocal. Okay, so this is going to give us the limit as delta x approaches zero of. Okay, so just think of this over one. Okay, so we're going to have uh, six delta x all divided by x minus two times x plus delta x minus two times one over delta x. So taking the reciprocal of the denominator. So taking the reciprocal of this, okay? And so then you can see now delta x cancels out. So we're left with the limit as delta x goes to zero of six over x minus two times x plus delta x minus two. So doing a direct substitution, um, letting delta x uh, equal, letting delta x approach zero, we're gonna get six over x minus two times x minus two. Okay. And we should have, oh, there should be a negative here, sorry. So there's a negative here. So I'll just carry it downward. Sorry. So that negative, again, is coming from here, okay. Okay, so no problem, just put it back here. Okay, so now we get minus six over, this is gonna be x minus two squared. Okay, so this is the uh, derivative of our function. Okay, All right, that's our solution, okay.